question. So take it away, Andy. Thank you, Kirby. Uh, hello, folks. Thanks for being here. I know this is a lunch hour for some of you, so I'm going to make it as productive as possible and not uh, hold things up. So diving straight in. I'll talk about the goals of this session. And since I cannot see you folks, I'm going to envision that uh, some of you folks probably already have some form of uh, on-premise hype, Oracle Hyperion planning solution. And you may be here because you're curious about PBCS. You want to see, check out what it is. Or you're looking to move to it for various reasons. You want to keep up with the client software. You want to keep up with patches. Or you just need to move to the cloud. Whereas then some of you folks may be completely new to the Hyperion family of solutions. So you may be coming from a different, completely different uh, budgeting uh, forecasting solution. So hopefully this will give you a good overview of uh, what PBCS is and what you need to keep in mind to move to PBCS. So what we're going to cover here is uh, one, I'm going to give you an overview of PBCS. Second is uh, not necessarily teach you PBCS, but let you uh, inform you of the questions that you need to be asking on how to get it right, because PBCS being a cloud tool, a software as a service, SaaS as they call it, is a, the strength of it being your infrastructure overhead is very minimal, and so it's very easy to get on, get on board and get started. But the challenge is just like jumping onto a moving train or boat. Once you, it's easy to get on. Well, it may be easier to get on, but if it's completely new to you, like a new country. For example, you could get disoriented and uh, staying on may be a challenge. So this this will hopefully get you started or rather give you the question that you need to be asking before you move to PBCS so that you get it done right and uh, move to your satisfaction. So the, the move to PBCS, as I said, is, is quick to get started. So it could be a 15-minute migration or it could take three months to do it. But what takes that time, what decides that is just how prepared you are and knowing what to expect. So the more prep work that you do, the less redo work or less adjustments you have to do later on, which usually take more longer time. As they say in any software development, if you design it at the beginning, it's much easier than fixing it towards the end after, which is, let's face it, just band-aid code and usually leads to more bugs. So in this case, more redo work. So with that, I want to move to a quick overview of everything. So as you may know, now this is a slide from uh, mid of last year. We're talking about this is from Gartner. And I want to highlight Oracle's position and where uh, Oracle is or where Oracle Cloud is in the market marketplace. Now that, if you look at the top right, yes, that what that square looks like today may change a bit. But as you see, everyone in there are leaders. And Oracle is right there, right among the top. So, and that hasn't that hasn't dropped. It's, it's just been increasing. Oracle. This is again a slide from last year. Uh, this talks about how many clients Oracle had then. This was June of last year, and just been growing. And if you keep in, if you have listened into the Oracle's quarterly reports, you just see that the cloud is just growing. And from all the backing that they have, it's just going to keep growing. I want to focus on the lower left and there is a just wide range of industries that are embracing Oracle Cloud. It's just to give you an idea that this is working for so many people, it does quite definitely work for you as well. So hopefully this webinar will give you an idea or rather give you enough information, if not to make the decision, at least what questions to ask to make the right decision and more importantly develop the right plan to get on, get on to PBCS. So as you may know, Oracle has a large product suite. Most of these products here are now have equivalent or replacement products in the cloud. Our focus today is at the bottom right, which is the planning and forecasting. This is where PBCS is. This is the, square, this is the area where PBCS focuses. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So then what is PBCS? It's, as Kirby mentioned, it's Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. And as the name 